Okay. Well, we've had suggestions, you know, subtract the equations. Well, if this was a plus, that would help because you'd eliminate A, right? But it's not a plus, it's a times. Okay, we had raise everything to the 1 over B power. Now, very good idea, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, we will. Oh, you're going to divide by the 18B, right? By the what? Are you going to multiply one of the equations by negative 1 to cancel out the A? Multiply... One of the equations by negative one. I don't it won't know help because that would okay. be equivalent to subtracting the equations. If it was a plus here, that would work. You're you multiply one of the equations by negative one, and this is a plus, then the a's add up to zero, and you have eliminated a. You're going to take one of them, and like if you take the top problem, you're going to divide it by 18b both sides, and it'll be 77 over 18b equals a, and then you'll plug that into the second problem so that you're eliminating one of the variables. Yeah, what she said. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. You're eliminating a variable. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, you want to subtract equations or add a negative or add a multiple, a negative multiple or a positive multiple to eliminate things because that's what you do if you have the quadratic model because all your equations are linear. Something times A plus something times B plus something times C equals whatever Y is, right? Okay, and that works wonderfully, and everybody knows how to do that, I hope, because um, we've been doing that for a long time. In this case, as we've seen, Now, what we just said is we solve the first one for A. 18 times B instead of 18 Okay. Times. Well, we get... Got you now. ...77 over 18 to the B, right? Then... ...we plug that into the second equation. Where are we going to plug that in? For A, right? So, as I've done many times with arrows, I say, okay, we take this and we put it here, and out of this we get an equation 42 equals 77 over 18 to the B oh, times 48. So the B's cancel out? To the B, no. No, they're not. No, they're, they're, you've got to use the laws of exponents. Oh. There's no law of exponents that allows you to cancel powers. And there's a whole thing I wrote this morning on laws of exponents and why they are. So you might want to, everybody should probably look at that because although you would expect people having had the prerequisite courses to know the laws of exponents very well, we observe that it's not true and there's something wrong with our prerequisite courses. Okay? So we have a lot of still people making errors with laws of exponents and then with the laws of logarithms as they're inverse to the laws of exponents, okay? You gotta be careful with them. It's not difficult if you know the laws and restrict yourself to applying the laws and then check your results and make sure they're consistent so you get immediate feedback when that isn't, okay? So, uh, you know, that little lecture aside, okay, here we have this, right? Okay? Now, I can write this as 42 equals 77. I can group the 48 to the B, uh, I didn't leave myself room to write the B, over 18 to the B. Hopefully you see what that is. Okay? Is that okay? You understand what I wrote? Because I want to take time to erase it and rewrite it. Okay? So, I actually am going to rewrite it. I'm not going to erase it. But we need to start again at the top. So let's come over here. We write uh, 42 equals 77. And what I wrote was times 48 to the B over 18 to the B. Because clearly this can be re rearranged as this. And if you don't see that, go back and think about the way fractions behave. It's the first thing we did, right? And everybody got good at it, so, you know, you can do that, okay? Very good. Now, we have an equation we still need to solve for B, and Elena's holding on to that, take the 1 over B power thing, okay? But we have another step before we can do that.